hello guys welcome back to the new video wherein we are learning the data structures and algorithms in java so in today's topic we are learning arrays in java so let's get started so normally arrays is a collection of the similar types of element which has an contagious memory locations so what do we mean by contagious memory locations so it's nothing but all the elements are located next to each other in the same memory space that is the consecutive blocks of the memory as allocated to the user for the processes uh, so there are many types of uh, memory location uh, memory storage types uh, such as heap heap memories are also there so array uses the contiguous memory location so next point is uh, array uses array uses the zero based indexing means at the the element that is that stores at the first in the array is 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 store at the zeroth index and the next element will store at the one then second and this series will go i go on till n n is the number of number of elements that you declare that the array will store okay so unlike c c++ we can get the length of the array using the length member so uh, in c c++ we use the size of operator which which gives or returns us the length of the array means the uh, how many number of the integers store in that array like that in similar way there is a length member in java which returns the same the length of the array which we are using so typically there are two types of arrays in java so first one is user defined and second one is using built in class so uh, in this video typically we are going to uh, see the user defined one and the built in uh, built in class we can see in, in in the next upcoming videos wherein uh, th there is not too much work that we we are going to do we just uh, import the class from the lang pack, uh, java package lang package which is uh, predefined in the java java and we just make an object of that class and we can use the predefined methods of that class okay moving ahead uh java pro provides the feature of anonymous array which is not available there in c++ so we will uh, see what is an anonymous arrays so java supports the feature of anonymous arrays so so as you you don't need to declare the array while passing an array to the method so think of a situation where where you have created one uh, method and uh, the method method requires an array as a parameter so where where when you when you are calling that uh, method in the main method so instead of calling uh, instead of declaring the new array and passing the value to that array you can just cre uh, create a new int and just pass the values that you want to pass to the array that is known as an anonymous array which c++ 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 languages like that don't provide these features okay so moving on next we have the types of array We are, so there are typical two types of arrays, single dimensional and multi dimensional. Okay, so let's see uh, each of them one one by one. So single dimensional array, the syntax is very similar to uh, other other uh, other programming languages, so wherein we have first declare data type like integer, and then uh, two square brackets, an array, or we can declare it this in uh, three different ways as you can see here so first of all let's write some basic code of that single dimensional array so i'm here and let's de declare one public class main okay and i will write the main method that is public static void main string args okay so first of all let's declare and initiate initialize one array so for that we have we can we can do this int that is that that means that array ca, array is going to hold the uh, integer types of values let's name our array as a okay equals to new integer and this is the five 
so this 5 is nothing but the size of the uh, how many uh, integer types of values that array is going to hold okay so here i written 5 that means the array is going to uh, hold the 5 values in it okay uh, so let me just go and quickly okay array at index 1 it's going to hold 20 like this array at index 2 going to hold 30 and at index 3 is going to hold 40 likewise array at index 4 is going to hold 40 sorry 50 okay so here you can see uh, my array length is 5 and I have declared the 5 elements in it so let me just print it on the console so for the printing of an a print of an array on the console we just use a for loop wherein our for loop will start from int i is equal to 0 and it will go until i less than a dot length a dot length and each time i am incrementing the value of the i so this dot length function uh, you can see here i have told you the there is one method named as length of the uh, length member which will return the uh, length of the array so here we are using that same uh, method uh, so quickly just i will system dot out dot print ln a at a okay so quickly just revise it we have declared one array and initialize and we are given the all the uh, values that uh, the array gonna store at that index and then we have used the for loop where we are traversing the array and printing the elements that are stored at the 0 to fifth fourth element fourth index of that array okay so i'm gonna run this let's see so here you can see 10 20 30 40 and 50 is got printed on the console because at the first at first i's value is 0 and array at i's i stored 10 so that's got printed here and each time the for loops runs the value of the i got incremented array at 1 array at 2 array at 3 and array at 4 got printed so this is the uh, basics uh, basic program of array so this so moving next we have multi dimensional array so here you can see the multi dimensional array uh, how we can declare that array okay so without wasting the time let's code it out okay so i'm going to come here and I will comment it out this code at next I will again declare one array but this time I am declaring the multi-dimensional array that means I have to use two pair of square brackets equals to let me just pass those value Okay, so here I have declared one array, a multi which is multi-dimensional array, and I have passed values to it. Okay, so le let us check how we can print the uh, multi-dimensional array, like we have printed here the single-dimensional array. Okay, so for that we require two uh, for loops. First one is run from i is equals to zero to i less than three and each time it will iterate i plus plus okay so inside this we have we are going to use another for loop which is going to run from i j is equal to 0 j is less than 3 and each time we are incrementing the value of the j okay so in this we are going to print system dot out 
So print ln array add index i and index j plus one space after each number got printed on the console and after this I will just write system dot out dot print ln okay so if I run this now we'll see what happens so here you can see one two three two four five four five four four five is got printed so let's check how it got how is it's printing actually so when we come for the first for loop the value of the i is zero and it when it's entered for the second for loop the value of j is zero and here when we enter and we pass the uh, array uh, array as array of zero comma uh, zero zero so what is present at array zero zero this is the element which is present so this this got printed and when when we go uh, again here in, in inner for loop where j j's value is now one okay and i's value is zero so again we are passing wherein j, i's value is zero and but this time j's value is one so what it becomes array of zero one so at position array of zero one two is present so two is got printed similarly this for loop will run uh, one time again uh, when j is three this for loop uh, gets terminated inner for loop and it go outside for loop where i plus plus is done and i's value is now one again it enters the for loop wherein j's value is zero and this time we are going to uh, get the values as i array of one zero wherein we get this values uh, similarly we are printing all those values so this is the this is how we can implement the multi-dimensional arrays in java so there are many uh, ways many practical uses of this using arrays in java well, let's suppose think think about a scenario where you have 100 students in class and you have to store all the data of the student uh, let's suppose marks the, the students got obtained the marks in mathematics so you can't just uh, declare uh, one uh, one variable one variable for each student so in this scenario we uh, we can use an array wherein we we just declare one array of mathematics marks and we will just pass those values according to the uh, student's roll number and which got printed and stored and whenever we want we can retrieve those information or the values let's suppose i want to know the marks or marks obtained by the students whose roll number is 8 in mathematics so i can pass the uh, array name and pass the parameter as uh, 8 uh, 7 sorry because the array index in short form 0 and i will get the marks which is obtained by the student whose roll number is 8 so these are some real life scenarios where, where wherein we are using arrays in java so you can go to the websites like geeks for geeks where they have the practice portal wherein you can just sort those uh, filter you can apply the filter of arrays and uh, you can set the difficulty level and do the do the practice for the coding i will be sharing all, all the required resources and the re references you will require to learn arrays in java in the description box of the video so thank you so much guys i will see you in the next week next lecture